All right, in this video, we're gonna look at a problem that involves converting from liters to gallons. And the scenario is this. Sarah wants to special order a BMW 3 Series from Germany. The specifications on the car list that the fuel tank capacity is 60 liters. How many gallons will it take Sarah to fill up her car when it arrives to her in Florida? So she's special ordering this BMW 3 Series. And notice right here, uh, the BMW 3 Series, this particular one she wants is 60 liters. Um, yeah, some people spell liters, L-I-T-R-E-S. Uh, here in America, we commonly just say L-I-T-E-R-S. But um, what we have is we need to do a conversion. We have to convert liters to gallons. And the reason why more, most of us, and if you live in America, you, you don't talk about how many liters a fuel capacity is or the fuel capacity is of a vehicle. You talk about how many gallons it is. Well, that's what we have right here over at Google. One liter is equal to this many gallons approximately. Now, that's not to say you could use, you could use this one as well. One liter is around this many gallons. Now, when I think about it, I think of a liter as pretty much being around 0.25 gallons, but it's actually 0.264172 gallons. And if we went the other way, one gallon is around 3.78541 liters. I'm going to show you both techniques here. Sometimes one can be faster than the other, but it's not too bad either way you look at it. So we know based on this conversion here that one liter is equal to 0.26. 4172 gallons. I'll put my little zero there so we don't overlook that decimal. And then at our bottom pieces. So since I have set up this proportion as one liter equals this many gallons, we know that Sarah's car has 60 liters, but what we don't know is we don't know how many gallons it's going to be. So X gallons. Now, you're not expected to probably memorize. You, you probably are not going to be expected to memorize this right here. You probably probably will be given this in your uh, math class or whatever problem you may be working on, some standardized test or something like that. Well, to solve this proportion, we just cross, multiply, and divide. So we want to multiply these two numbers together, and then we want to divide by the number getting multiplied by x. Um, just to kind of re refresh on that, we're going to take these two numbers right here. We're going to multiply them together. This is the only time you should be cross multiplying uh, when you have a fraction equal to a fraction. So we have 60 times 0.264172. Make sure I type that in right. 264172. I might have set it backwards, but it's right right there. And so we get that number right there. Now, that is going to be equal to the other cross products. That's going to be equal to this cross product here of 1 times x. Well, 1 times x is x. So just like that, we're done with this problem. So in Sarah's mind, you know, more than likely, if, it, well, 60 liters is this many gallons, pretty much Sarah's going to say, hey, I got pretty much a 16-gallon tank. And that's exactly what you would probably say, uh, too, if you saw that it was 15.85 gallons. We just ran into the nearest whole number. All right, but let's just keep this number up here so we don't forget that as well. Now let's look at the other approach and I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna type this in though. So since we know we have 60 liters, check it out, 15.8503 and we have that over here except we have a two from our calculator. So that is right, we did do our proportion correctly. But now what I want us to do is I want us to look at the other way and see if these answers differ. They're not going to differ by a lot, but let's take this conversion now. I'm still going to set it up the same way. I'm going to say one liter equals, uh, well, nope, my bad. No, I'm not going to set it up the same way. That's right, because we're using a different setup. We're doing one gallon is this many liters. So let's say one gallon is equal to 3.78541 liters. So I got gallons, liters. Well, we don't know how many gallons. Well, technically we do because we did it up here but I'm gonna act like we don't. And we do know that Sarah's car has 60 liters in it. So the way I'm setting this up is I'm gallons equals liters, gallons equals liters. There are multiple ways to set up these problems uh, proportions wise. You can set it up, I think, what, four different ways and still get the same answer. But let's just roll with it the way we have it right here. So cross multiply, we have to take 60 times one. So we get 60. We wanna set this equal to the other cross product. So that's going to be 3.78541 times x. And now to get x by itself, we want to divide by that 3.78541 on both sides. Now, the more you do these, 
the more you do proportions, the more you're going to realize all you do is cross multiply and divide. That's all we're really doing here. And the way I always think about it is, is I multiply the two numbers. I got this one and this 60. We multiply those together and then we divide by the number that's getting multiplied by X. This number right here is the number that's getting multiplied by X. And notice that's exactly what we're going to be dividing by right here. So going to our calculator, let's do 60 divided by 3.78. 541. Should I type that in right? And check out this answer that we get. So we have x is equal to 15.85033061. And now I'm writing all that out. Obviously, we want to round this off, but the point I'm making is that when you're dealing with a lot of metric, pretty much every metric to US conversion or from every US to metric conversion, it, depending on which conversion factor you use, you may get some slightly different answers here. Now, notice though, 15.85032, well, 15.85033, okay? Not that big of a difference. Plus, we would pretty much say, hey, this is going to be 16 gallons. Now, by conversion factors, I'm, I'm referring to, you know, this thing here. One gallon equals this many liters, whereas over here, when I had one liter equals that many gallons. So, you notice here I got one liter, whereas in this one I have one gallon. So, it, there's no need to uh, get confused or get, like you say, which one do I use? It doesn't matter. You're going to be given one to use more than likely in the question that you're working out. But I wanted to show you both examples, and, and I want you to see how these answers differ slightly uh, when you're doing the conversion. But regardless, you're still solving a proportion. Um, Sarah's going to pretty much say, hey, I got 16 gallons uh, or I can, my car will hold 16 gallons of gas. And that's all based on us doing these conversions over here. And there you have it. That's an example of converting liters to gallons. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.